Hey everybody, it's Candy, aka Brown Eyed Girl 69. And tonight is Saturday uh, night, April the 6th. And um, I'm just hanging out and thought I'd make a video. Um, it's been a minute since I just had my camera facing towards my little candle incense station over there so I figured I'd just flip it around and jibber jabber while y'all watch the candle anyways um I guess we got this solar eclipse coming up on Monday uh April 8th and it's been all the hype you know um, Christians think they're going to get raptured out of here, if not on that day, soon after. Um, spiritual people, people that call themselves the chosen ones, um, they think that, you know, we're going to be moving from, um, uh, in one timeline to another. Or that we're passing through a portal. Well, maybe we are passing through a portal of some sort. It's probably more of an energetic portal. Um, energy coming in. <clears throat> to help us raise our vibration. To raise our frequency. Um, as far as anything... Popping off that day. There's a possibility. Uh, there's a possibility. I've heard a few things, you know. I've heard a few things around the rumor mill as to what could happen and what might happen. And if it does, well, I guess we'll just have to handle it and deal with it when that time comes. But up until then, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm scheduled to work that day. I'm scheduled to work 1.30 9.30 on Monday. Um, that's about the time that the eclipse starts. About the time I get to work. And it's only going to go, well, shoot, by the time I'm at work at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, it'll already be all said and done. At one point in time, I thought about asking off for that day, but why? <laughs> for what? Um, do y'all realize that every 18 months, so that's every year and a half, we have a total, total solar eclipse somewhere across the planet? Um... And nobody ever makes any hype about that. It doesn't seem like any other countries hype up when an eclipse passes through China or if an eclipse passes through Germany, Africa, South America, Australia, any of these other countries. Nobody makes a big deal about it. So why is it such a big deal when it's happening to America? You know what I mean? Stupid. But, um, I think they are kind of fascinating to watch if you've never seen one before. Um, I have seen a total eclipse before. Um, I've seen partial eclipses before. I've seen lunar eclipses before. I'm almost 55 years old, so I've seen falling stars. I've seen all sorts of things. Uh, because I'm that age where, you know, hey... Things happen. Life seems to go in patterns and cycles. And, uh, yeah. Um, just like us humans, we all have a pattern to ourselves. We all have cycles. We all have repetitive things that we do, you know. Um, habits. Well, these things occur because I guess it's just a habit for them to happen. You know, it's just something that happens. And like I said, too many people putting too much significance on this. Also, another thing is, you know, it makes me wonder what they're going to really try to hide. What they're trying to do. They're Usually when things like this are really hyped up, it's because the lawmakers are inside their offices and inside their uh, meeting rooms and things of that nature, uh, writing new laws that, that will go into effect. 
without it, and that will affect us without us even realizing it. And they do these things in secret, so we can't stand up and oppose it, you know? They do everything in secret. They've kept us distracted with breads, bread and circuses, you know, with entertainment. And, uh... In all sorts of ways, all across the board. They've kept us asleep with music, movies, TV shows, uh, events, uh, sporting events, things of that nature. Uh, good events as well as bad events, you know? They throw all that into our face so we won't be paying attention to what they're doing behind closed doors. That's what it comes down to. Anyways, enough about that. Um, I guess uh, pretty much I haven't really been doing much other than just working. Uh, and then on my days off, I try to spend time with my grandchildren uh, and my daughter. Uh, in fact, <laughs> it was kind of cute. My granddaughter, Everly, uh, she's the oldest. Uh, yesterday morning, Kelsey sent me a message and said that Everly was sad and that Kelsey asked her why she was sad, and she says, Because I miss Grammy. I wonder if Grammy's thinking about me or misses me. Kelsey's like, I'm sure Grammy misses you. Everybody's like, oh, I just want to see Grammy. And Kelsey's like, well, Grammy has to work today. And Everly was like, oh. Well, Kelsey sent me the video. It was only like less than 30 seconds, but it was cute, and it really touched my heart. So I told Kelsey, hey, is there anything you need to get at the store? She's like, yeah, I could probably, you know, pick up a gallon of milk and maybe some bread and some fruit and vegetables or something. And I was like, well, when you come to the store, bring Everly. And if you want, bring Cadence too, but she just brought Everly. Which was sweet, because as soon as they really seen me, she immediately ran to me and gave me a hug and a kiss. And I'm just so blessed, you know, with my grandchildren. Uh, my daughter sent me some more pictures of Everly, Cadence, and Finian tonight. And he's just a smiling and laughing. And, uh... I'm just blessed, you know. I'm just so blessed. In the here, the now, and the moment with what I have. Because right here, right now, this very second, I've got plenty of everything that I could possibly need. I've got plenty of food. I've got plenty of water. Plenty of uh, clean clothes. Uh, I, I got to take a shower. Um, all my bills are paid and up to date and current and uh, I've got plenty of Mary Jane and I have nicotine so that's the way I look at it is all my basic needs are met um so I really don't have anything to complain about. I mean, I guess some people could say, wow, you know, um, you make know, a lot of money or whatever. That's true, I don't. But I'm still happy. Um, are there things I want to do in life still that require money? Yeah. Um, am I going to allow that to hinder me? No. It just means that I'm going to have to work harder or um, find something on the side to bring in an extra income, you know? Um, but I have found that the universe always provides me with what I need at the time I need it. 
And if I really want to start traveling or if I want to go do something and I put forth my mind in thinking about it, the universe will conspire to make it happen. <clears throat> Somehow, some way. Um, let's see. What else can I chit chat about? Uh, pretty much I just laid a simple life and like I said, um, I don't get out much. I'm pretty introverted. Um, I deal with the public, um, four days out of the week. So, you know, Friday through Monday, I'm dealing with the public and when I come home, I like to shut my door, lock my door, and I have to get out of the house until I have to get out of the house again. This is my safe space. This is my comfort zone. This is my haven, you know. Um, this is where I just like to hang out and be me and not have to deal with anybody else's BS, <laughs> you know. Um, I think one reason why I get on social media is just so I can try to connect with others and see what other things are happening out in this world, you know, with other people. I'm a very people-oriented person, but people suck the life out of me after a while. Um, I'm always interested in other people's lives. But it doesn't necessarily mean that I want to go hang out with them one day for eight, nine, ten hours or more, you know. Um, I used to be a very, very social person when I was younger. Like 30 years ago, I was my daughter's age and 25. I was living in Dallas. Uh, I was still single. I hadn't met Kelsey's dad yet. Um... I had a decent job for myself. It allowed me to pay my portion of the bills and to have spending money, you know. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I think life was simpler when I was younger. <laughs> uh, but then again, I guess it's all in perspective as well. Um... I think life was simpler when I didn't have as many responsibilities, you know. Uh, when I didn't have a child uh, to be responsible for. Uh, when I had roommates to help me out with my expenses, et cetera, et cetera. You know, life was a little simpler. Um, yeah. Now here I am, you know, almost 55 years old. I have a 25 year old daughter. I have three grandchildren. My mom, who's getting ready to turn 91 on May 1st. Um, that's all my immediate family. It's me, my mom, my daughter, my three grandchildren. That's it. Pretty small family. Once my mom's passed on, it'll just be me, Kelsey, and my grands. My son-in-law. I mean, that is my boy, you know. He is the father of my three grandchildren. Without him, I wouldn't have them, so. Uh, so I am grateful for him as well. Um, but yeah, I just lead a pretty simple life. Here lately, you know, on the booby tooby streets, you gosh, you see so many people with so many different thought processes, and I can't even handle it sometimes. I mean, there's some things that, like, the title will spark my interest, and I'll sit there and try to listen. <clears throat> but then I just feel like it's just all... Baloney, you know? See, I don't think there's anything we really need to do other than be our authentic self. And 
to take responsibility for our words and actions. Other than that, I don't think there's really anything for us to do. I mean, meditation, we meditate every night we sleep. Um, grounding back to Mother Earth, well, hey, all we got to do is take off our shoes, go find us a, a place to go walk around, you know, barefooted in the grass. I'm sure all of us have a place that we could go to, a park, even, you know. Um, a lot of it, I think, I feel like it's just a mindset. It's just a change of mind. Um, that's what repentance means, anyway, um, in the Bible. Repentance means change of mind. Um... When you stop doing what you're doing, you change your mind and start doing something differently. Um, but I don't think, you know, to me, Christianity, you know, they have all this set of rules that you got to go by, you know. Um, spirituality, they have a set of rules to go by too. They tell you you got to do this, you got to do that, blah, blah, blah. To raise your vibration, to raise your awareness and all that. Honestly, I don't believe in any of that garbage anymore either. I don't believe there's any specific thing I need to do. Unless it's what I want to do. You know, like me. I like to burn candles. Why? Because they smell good. Um, and I like watching the flames. They're relaxing. Um, uh, why do I burn incense? Because it smells good. Uh, why do I like to sage my apartment on occasion? Because it smells good. And I know it has benefits, you know, like purification of the air and killing of germs and things of that. So, um, I do those things because I enjoy them. Um, all of my crystals that I've got, I don't even utilize them. In fact, I've been sitting here thinking about maybe putting them on for sale. Um, however, I do need to go back um, and look at some old receipts and see about how much I've invested in all these crystals and uh, decide which ones I want to sell and which ones I don't. Um, because I don't want to sell all my stuff, but some things I just don't, you know, they're nice and pretty to look at, <clears throat> but I don't really utilize them, you know? And I know there's people out there that would probably utilize this stuff. I think at one point in time, I really wanted to utilize these things. And, um, I had money. I was on unemployment. And, uh, I used to watch this girl that would have auctions. Well, money wasn't an object to me. So, I would bid on these things, and majority of the time, I would always be the top bidder. Not all the time, but majority of the time. And that's how I acquired a lot of these items that I have. Um, as far as me getting intimate with any of my stones and carrying them around and really getting to know them right now i really honestly i haven't you know they're more just like i know that they're useful i know they have energy in them i know a lot of things about these things but as far as me utilizing them for any benefit to myself i haven't went down that avenue yet and I don't really have a desire to go down that avenue. And I know probably some people's going to see and say, man, you're lazy. Yeah, I am. If that's, you know, I'm a hard worker. Um, but I only work because I have to work. If I didn't have to work a job to pay bills, would I? No. If... Money wasn't a thing. 
Um, if people could get what they needed in life without having to exchange money. You know, um, then, you know, I would be okay with that. Um, but I do believe that money has definitely divided the people and it controls people. Uh, me, I don't want to be controlled by money. Um. Because I know how I am with it. <laughs> you know. Uh, it seems like if I have a lot of money. I really kind of just. Lose control and. Go out and buy unnecessary things. That I don't really need. You know. I don't really save it. Or try to utilize it. For a benefit. In the future. Um. So, yeah, I I know that's one reason why money probably doesn't come to me so easily. Because of how <clears throat> I'm not very responsible with a whole lot of money in one shot. But I'm responsible enough with money that I earn to pay my bills. Even though I would like to be, you know, earning a little bit more than just working to pay my bills, you know. But yeah, people want to know the honest truth about me. Well, you know, you can listen to my rants and my ramblings. And uh, I have nothing to hide, you know. I have nothing to hide. I, I don't want people to believe I'm something I'm not. <clears throat> You know, I'm just me. I'm just candy. I'm just brown eyed girl 69. Um, I'm just a mom. I'm just a grandma. Um, a friend. Um, and somebody that has a really good heart. And somebody who has emotion and can show emotion and express emotion. And it's an shame to do so. Anyways, I know some of y'all probably don't want to listen to me just jibber jabber for 20 plus minutes, but if you've made it this far, you've listened to me jibber jabber now for almost 23 minutes. So, y'all have a blessed night, a blessed day ahead. Um, Sunday. April 7th for some of you folks, almost April 8th for some other of you folks, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, much love, peace, love, hugs, nugs, and all that good squishy shit. <laughs> Anyways, until the next time, you'll have a good one, and we'll catch you on the flip side.